to all you tabloids out there, you have been with my life since I was 13 years old. I have never said that I wish my mother was dead. How dare you put those words in my mouth? Drew Barrymore used Instagram to call up page six three hours after they posted this article with the headline, Drew Barrymore admits she wishes her mother Jade was dead. I cannot wait. The page six article takes quotes from Drew's recent profile in New York Magazine, where she does talk about her mom and the writer, Alex Jung, mentions the vulnerability that Drew showed in her interview with Jeanette McCurdy, whose book is called, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Does someone have to die in order to be able for us to tell our truths? I think we at least have to write as if they have died. In the book, Jeanette gets very candid about the abuse that she suffered at the hands of her mom, who passed away in 2013, and Drew could very much relate to that in terms of her own mom, and the New York Magazine article includes this quote. Do I have to wait to tell all my truths? I don't know if I can do it because certain hmm. people are alive. I understand. During the interview, Drew admits that she wasn't really doing this as an interview, but more using it to get advice from Jeanette and how to deal with her own maternal trauma without hurting her mom. How do you get over guilt and shame if they're still alive in order to tell those truths? Mm. And the conversation led to a breakthrough for Drew, which the New York Magazine profile also includes. Okay, I think I'm having an aha moment. Tell me. Maybe it's protectiveness that I feel. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I've never put it in those terms in my head. Wow, I got chills. It's like I don't want to paint her negatively. I don't want people to think of her negatively. Yes. But the truth is tough stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So then back to the actual New York Magazine interview, Drew refers to others and says, all their moms are gone and my mom's not. And I'm like, well, I don't have that luxury, but I cannot wait. I don't want to live in a state where I wish someone to be gone sooner than they're meant to be so I can grow. I actually want her to be happy and thrive and be healthy, but I have to effing grow in spite of her being on this planet. E. Alex Jung then writes, an hour later, Drew regretted saying that. And Drew says, quote, I dared to say it and I didn't feel good. I do care. I'll never not care. I don't know if I've ever known how to fully guard, close off, not feel, build the wall up. So yeah, page six then runs with this headline that says, I cannot wait in quotes, and says that Drew is saying she wishes her mom was dead. I have never said that I wish my mother was dead. How dare you put those words in my mouth? I have been vulnerable and tried to figure out a very difficult, painful relationship while admitting it is difficult to do while a parent is alive and that for those of us who have to figure that out in real time cannot wait as in they cannot wait for the time not that the parent is dead don't twist my words around or ever say that i wish my mother was dead i have never said that i never would in fact i go on to say that i wish that i never have to live in existence where i would wish that on someone because that is sick. So yeah, when you watch those clips from the Jeanette interview and then you read the quotes from the New York Magazine interview, it's clear that Drew is saying she doesn't want to have to wait till her mom is gone to find the courage to address or be frank about the issues she's had with her mom. She doesn't know how to at this point, but she wants to be able to deal with these issues when her mom is still here. Really gross of page six to do this and it gets even grosser, hold on. Not only have they not taken down that article in the 12 hours since Drew posted her video, they haven't even updated the title. It still remains exactly the same. They've just written a new article that went up about four hours after Drew's video, and it appears in the more column of the Wishes Her Mom Was Dead article. But then, gets grosser, look at the title of their new article. First off, they say Drew clarifies her comments. Well, no, she's not really clarifying her comments. She's calling you guys out as wrong and taking her quote out of context. Then, look at what they have in quotes. I wish my mother was dead is in quotes. That quote is not from the Jeanette interview and it's not from the New York Magazine interview. Drew didn't say those words. When she did say those words is in her video calling out page six. I have never said that I wish my mother was dead. Page six doesn't put the quote mark before I never said. They just have the quote as I wish my mother was dead. So it makes it seem like that isolated quote came out of Drew's mouth. 
That's some BS right there, page six. You know you did that on purpose to make it seem like Drew's like loony, and she did say that, when she did not say that phrase. The only time she said it was to say, I never said that. How dare you put those words in my mouth? BS, yeah, what are your thoughts?